Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Tuesday, March 15. Rodrigo Esponda, thank you very much for taking this time and uh, for giving us this interview. Um, Rodrigo Esponda, as everybody knows, and if you don't know, shame on you, he is the executive director of FITURCA, which is the Los Cabos Tourism Board. And of course, FITURCA works to promote tourism to Los Cabos, but also to promote the businesses in Los Cabos to make sure that everybody wins by providing the services that tourists are looking for. So, Rodrigo, first of all, welcome and thank you. How are you, Claudia? It's a pleasure always to be with you. Likewise. Um, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, mobility and traffic and accidents along the Transpeninsular Highway and how all this is creating some chaos in terms of uh, getting from one place to the other. This has been increasing in the last few weeks, if not months. What can you tell us about it? Well, it is a reality that the mobility in the destination has been severely affected, and this is impacting the community and the visitors. Um, we have some stats and indicator on, on both sides on the perception of the community that when we ask what has been the, the biggest issue that you have uh, that has been changing in the last years, the 60% of the community has marked as the mobility as the number one issue that they see in the destination. And we have asked uh, in that point many important things uh, such as the, the water, safety, uh, employment, the economy, and, and many other environmental situations. So, so overall, that has been the, the biggest uh, thing that is, is being indicated as affecting the community. And in regards to the tourists, uh, it's been the same. We track what is the perception of the tourists when they leave about, uh, in general, elements about uh, the, the, the lodging, the restaurants, the activities, uh, safety, and of course, we ask about uh, the mobility or transportation in the destination. And the evaluation of the, of the transportation elements has been, uh, has a, a downward trend. And uh, it is not yet uh, on the negative side, but it is uh, as a flag element that needs to be improved in general when tourists leave the destination because they perceive that the transportation was uh, not a positive experience. Now, of course, as, as you mentioned, this is now a cause of concern, but we are also very much aware of the fact that there are no quick fixes, that we're not going to build another highway all of a sudden, we're not going to change the way the roads are laid out. Um, what is Fiturca and, and working together with all the other entities and the different segments of our community doing to try to improve the situation? Well, first, we have been communicating actively among the leaders and authorities, uh, the, the stats, the numbers, because mm -hmm. uh, one thing is that everyone could starting to, to pass a complaint and saying what is happening today or a Friday afternoon because I'm trying to get to one point or the other. But when you have hard data that backs the, the perception of what is going on, then you really have to, to communicate that because that has to be processed and has to be measured the level of the impact that these can have in the overall perception of the destination. Imagine that we all do a good job in, in welcoming the tourists, having a positive experience in the, the, the tours, the hotels, the restaurants, uh, the stores, and then when they want to move from one point to the other, they mark as, you know, be careful if you go to Los Cabos, transportation is, is a big flag, a red flag for, for everyone. That's one thing. Um, secondly, the, the um, fact that the way to solve this would imply many concerns uh, that would would do in elements that are not easy fix uh, because as you mentioned if you need to build 
The new highway, that, that would take a long time. If you need to modify any infrastructure element, it would also take a lot of things to, to really be passed because then you have shared responsibilities between the federal authorities, the state authorities, and the municipality authorities. But I believe that the way that this to be um, moved on the positive side is by the society, by the collective effort of uh, different things. And I'll, I'll mention some things that I believe that would need to be considered actively. One is that if we know that between 11 and 2 p.m. on the weekends, that's when the peak time when people are trying to get to the airport or coming out of the airport and moving to the destination, then we need to ask the transportation, the big trucks on the construction and the, and the trade, the commerce to do not to avoid to do this type of tri cargo transportation on those uh, peak times. Uh, because right. then you are impacting at the most severe time things that you could move them in the afternoons or early in the morning just by, by simply scheduling them. Second, um, would, there has to be a collective effort to avoid cattle to be on the on the highway at, yeah. uh, in, in a specific times because that is also being um, a trouble. I've seen it when there is a, a, a the cow and cattle being passed in some specific times and then everyone mm -hmm. has stopped. There have been accidents and it is especially a toll road that that should be easy to, to, to control. Right. Uh, third, we have to be aware of some things that can be controlled on on the weekends or to, to avoid mass events or, or mass situations on key areas uh, where you are impacting the mobility of in general of the destination. If you want to do a race or you want to do certain events, uh, you need to consider this situation that we are going through a critical time that is impacting the infrastructure with uh, the mobility and affecting the, the Everyone. Don't miss the rest of this interview with Rodrigo Esponda, Executive Director of Viturca, Los Cabos Tourism Board. We will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. with more Cabo Mill News in English with Claudia Velo. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Ricks and Claudia Velo. <laughs>